Lisa Goldston, we're here. You're taking a look at Interstate I-80. This is the fire that has moved its way onto the highway right now. You are looking at I-80 westbound traffic at a standstill. Flames coming up next to the vehicles on the road. The smoke is so black. It is so dark. It is tough to see those vehicles. I can see an 18 wheeler. I can see a pickup truck, but further than that, I can't see any more cars. They are crawling on I-80. This is Cherry Glen Road at I-80 westbound, and the flames are just tearing through the dry grass onto the interstate right now. Our photographer, Mike Carroll, taking a look, giving you the best vantage point that we can get to safely at this point. This fire is hot and it is burning right onto the interstate right now. We know that crews had closed the off ramps of I-80 near Fairfield. This is near Vacaville. We are just outside of Vacaville and the flames have jumped the interstate. Lisa Golston, I'm gonna send it back to you. Yeah, and we want to make sure that you guys are in a safe area, but if um, if it's not safe for you to be there, then just get out of that area because we could see the flames going over Interstate 80, and that was at Cherry Glen. Um, yeah, just right outside Vacaville. And, and here is, this is Mike Carroll, uh, one of our yeah, veteran yeah, photographers, yeah. right on top of the flames here. He's on that overpass there. He is over I-80. This is the freeway that's been shut down, and the fire is burning right up to the freeway. Of course, we are hoping that the freeway will provide uh, somewhat of a fire break to let these cars through. But look at that. It's burning right up next to the freeway. Yeah, I, I really think they should just um, get out of there at this time because it's just really, 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 really close. And you can see now yeah. that the smoke's starting to clear how close that came to the cars. I mean, you, yeah. you're watching it with us and and that's just dangerously close and yeah. it just taking over the trees right now. Well, that's, could, that's the problem too. When it gets in the trees, then it can jump. That, that's how it can jump the freeway because then you have embers that are being pushed along by some of the winds that are created by all of that heat and it can just jump right to the other side of the freeway. So we're gonna stay with this as long as Mike stays with it. Mike, of course, it's your call out there. We're following your lead. And uh, I, I haven't seen anything quite like this in uh, our years of covering fires. No, and you should know our photographer that's bringing us these pictures is extremely experienced and wearing safety clothing, but it's it's not a, a, a safe situation right now. So that when we were mentioning why they're closing parts of Interstate 80, I mean, this is what we're talking about. And she said that this is, a, you know, this is Cherry Glen, I'm sure you're very familiar with the Cherry Glen exit. That's the overpass there. And this is the winds just take it and they just take these flames and they move so quickly and this burn through everything. I mean, that's where he was standing just seconds ago. So uh, Emily Maha is, right. is leading him out of there, which I wholeheartedly agree yep. with that decision to get out of the area. It becomes so smoky that then it's just not a safe situation to even be standing out there. Other cars can't see you. Um, other, you know, it's just, and look at, there are a ton of cars. Yeah, there's some cars there. there. There was a tanker out there. Uh, they're in some good company right there with some other uh, firefighting crews. So at least they are with a group of people who are knowing what they're doing. There is uh, somebody there with probably an animal trailer, mm -hmm. horses or other type of livestock trying to get the heck out of there before things get too hairy. Uh, we heard Emily say, let's go, let's go. Mike says, okay and they are back from where the fire was burning, but we can still see this active scene still playing out as they try to figure out uh, what to do next, how to attack the flames here, because they just move so fast with the mm -hmm. winds that are created in these conditions, and the flames can easily run up a hillside and easily jump right over a freeway.